This is the human shoulder. And this is the shoulder of our distant cousins, the chimpanzee. Notice that human shoulder blades tilt down and outward, whereas chimps tilt up. Small variations like this are the reasons why humans have awful shoulders. And chimps, with whom we share nearly 99% of our DNA, don't. In fact, the human shoulder is the least stable joint in the human body. And for that, we can thank evolution. Or more specifically, how we are outpacing it. Side effects of a human shoulder might include dislocation, separation, rotator cuff tears, bursitis, tendonitis, tendonesis, impingement syndrome, instability, arthritis, adhesive capsulitis or frozen shoulder, and fracture. They're one of the most common uh, orthopedic injuries, um, and they're also one of the most commonly ignored. And fixing these problems doesn't come cheap. First, let's pull that anatomical sketch up again. The shoulder joint is not in a fixed place and can move in many directions. You can think of it as several joints inside one another. And in fact, it makes very few connections with the rest of the body. The collarbone is the main connection of the shoulder to the center of the body. Um, uh, but actually, it's more, more of a floating joint than, than any other joint in the body. Then come the two layers of muscles. The inner layer of muscles, or rotator cuff, are generally not so strong, but are very good with mobility. And the outer layer of muscles are the stronger muscles, things like the trapezius and the deltoids. But here's where things get tricky. Having such an overlapping meshwork of muscles, uh, what you're inviting is pinching and tearing um, as the uh, orientation it can shift. That mobility gained was stability lost. If the bones and ligaments are holding a joint in place, it's much more fixed and therefore much less prone to injury. Uh, if you think of our hip joint, for example, the hip and the relationship of the hip to the leg is fairly fixed in place. Okay, now that we've proven to you just how crappy our shoulders are, let's dive back into that evolution part. In our quadrupedal ancestors, in our deep past, uh, really we had four legs. There weren't really arms to speak of. And if you think of a, a dog and a cat, uh, they don't have arms, they have legs. And, but they still have a shoulder joint as, as we can think of it. Our shoulders evolved for a life in the trees, swinging and hanging out. Then we left the trees behind and began to stand upright. This freed our arms up for other purposes, like hunting and gathering. We are partially adapted for throwing, which is no other animal uh, in our group of animals uh, throws anything. That's mostly due to our rotator cuff muscles. So we believe that throwing was a, a, a very strong evolutionary pressure as we began to hunt. Uh, throwing spears, thrusting as well. Uh, so thrusting and throwing are very specific kinds of motion. And that required uh, that floating uh, nature to our shoulder. As throwing objects became a critical part of our hunting and gathering stage, humans began to perform these motions with regularity. If you want to become good at throwing, you have to work out the other muscles. So what you're essentially doing is using um, muscles that were not designed uh, for that particular motion. Uh, and you end up with an imbalance. Most frequently, what happens is the joint gets pulled forward. Uh, it is a floating joint. So clearly, leaving a life in the trees brought on its own unique set of challenges. Part of the problems in, in present day humans is not so much a bad shoulder design, but a mismatch between what our shoulder is designed to do and how we use it on a daily basis. We have not built the shoulder to withstand great stresses in the bones. We bear that strain in the muscles and the tendons, which makes it more likely to tear. Within the last couple hundred years, we've even more rapidly changed how we use our arms and our shoulders. Ah yes, office life. I think I might have found something that's actually pretty cool. Okay, we'll just put it aside and I'll read it later. It might surprise you, but simply sitting at your desk is a major contributor to shoulder problems. When we hunch forward for days, hours, months, years on end, we end up causing unnecessary pulls and strains on our rotator cuff muscles. That can lead to injuries. So how do we solve this? Go to the gym. Not so fast. Modern beauty standards have us seeking big chests. 
whereas the back and shoulders are often largely neglected. This can have a major impact on the shoulder joint itself. And that changes the position of the joint. That's one of the, the problems of having a floating joint, is that it can very easily get pulled into an inoptimal position. So are all these doctor visits, so to speak, our own doing? <laughs> we, we definitely have a uh, fraught relationship with our bodies because we're using them in ways that they weren't originally designed to be used. Uh, and you can minimize doctor visits by you know, ch changing the way you eat and changing the way you use your body. That's right. There's still some hope for us hunched humans. Dr. Lentz says the best thing we can do is just move. Get a standing desk, walk around during phone calls, and hit the gym. Not just benching. And pay attention to basic posture. Try to make a conscious effort to pull your shoulder back. So the more that you pull it back, the more that you'll increase the tone, the resting tone, uh, on the muscles of your back that pull the shoulder into a more proper orientation. He also says you should add exercises to work out your inner muscles. The more you use a muscle in a certain way, the stronger it becomes in that way. That kind of stress is good for strength and stability. What happens in your shoulder is when you use it in a way that you're not used to using it, in a way that you haven't been using it on a daily basis. And when that happens, you're suddenly stressing the shoulder uh, to perform a new motion, uh, suddenly, usually. Uh, and that's when you open yourself up to injury. We want to hear from you. Have you ever experienced shoulder pain, injury, or even had a surgery? Drop a comment below and make sure to like and subscribe for more. Birds are like in my face, okay. <laughs> the bird like flew over you.